All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Chris Jocko! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, go the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. underway and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. But he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world. Especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the beach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Combination landed by Lee. And just misses with that big right hand. You 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Looping left hand misses the target. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of them. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast. Sometimes you don't see it come. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Good punch land. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Shot goes lower. Jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. So we cross the 32nd mark in our opening round. Oh, he slipped that strike and then countered beautifully. Really starting to get his range and get into a good flow on the feet as the longer fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Big leg kick land. It's a nice back and forth action here. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in, and if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body. And he eats a right hand there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He has a commitment to kicking tonight in his show. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just over three minutes to go now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Big roundhouse now, just there. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he landed. Great job. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Jotko's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Jotko. Beautiful leg kick throw. Back and forth we go. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him drive his shin into the front of body with that body kick. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, that kick in the head and he's still standing. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give him. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Jocko going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Good stick. Oh, looked like that one counted. Nice head kick. Jocko's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Come on. Come on. 
Way to hide that leg kick. Shotgo gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. He blocks the punch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Jock goes all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Big kick lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's it coming. Nice punch there. Very nice leg kick there by Jocko. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Just misses with the right. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Big kick land. What a tricky head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just misses with a left hook there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Real sneak. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Jocko gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice right hand. What a body kick. Leg kick. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice body kick. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round, really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Can't take many of those, you better check. He can't even, he can barely stand. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, whoa, 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 blocking whoa, whoa, whoa. his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Just do not...
All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that he... Oh! improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whoa! Whoa! Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. Himself. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. No surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like he landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Real quick leg kick. Big power shot there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice defense there. Huge block. Pretty good right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio, it certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in the video game comes down to who's button mashing and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually <laughs> playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button pressing and learn how to play the game. Oh, head kick attempt, it is blocked by Chaka. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Liver Let kick. Nice punch by Lee. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Just missed with the left there. That strike blocked by Lee. Clean with the right hook. Head kick. Lands the right hand. Absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Jocko. 
powerful leg kick land. Strong defense there to block the shot. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Scott goes into this last round, you hear me? We're losing this one. You gotta go out there and have faith in your striking. This guy can't strike with you. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Jocko gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Jocko's got a big bruise going on. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliate has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you 